Hi, today is 2nd of August 2022. We are on our way to Bahrain. Uh, the time is 4 26 pm. Uh, we can see a bit rush in the causeway. So, many of my friends ask me, like, what are the requirements to go to Bahrain after COVID? Uh, is it a PCR test required or anything like that? Uh, so, let's see. I don't have a PCR test or anything, and I don't think it's required. Uh, I'll let you know once I reach the causeway. Now we passed the toll gate, paid a 25 real toll. Uh, seems like there is a bit of traffic but not too much. We crossed the border now, we are in Bahrain. Uh, it was smooth, they didn't ask for any Tawakalna uh, vaccination or anything. Even though it was like a bit traffic, but it took only 20 minutes for both sides. So, my dear friends, you don't need any, any Tawakalna or vaccination certificates or PCR tests to enter Bahrain. So, I'll let you know what are the requirements when you come back to Saudi Arabia. I'll see you after three days. Today is uh, 5th of August 2022, uh, it's, time is around 12.50, uh, we are on our uh, return journey to Saudi Arabia, I just passed the toll gate, we paid around uh, 25 riyals toll. Now uh, let's go to the immigration and see how smooth will be the, the entry process. Now we reach the immigration. I'll speak to you after the process. Hi, we just finished the immigration. Uh, everything was smooth. It, it took only 10 15 minutes for everything. There was not much rush. Uh, so, if you want to travel to Bahrain, I'll recommend you to travel at the odd times. Like coming back, you come back in the afternoon, early afternoon or something. Or you go, you go in the afternoon, so there won't be much rush. And it's smooth, it's like uh, things are back to normal. You don't need a PCR test, vaccination, tawakalna, anything. Uh, they didn't ask me anything, even the customs was like smooth. Uh, you know, they just give the stamp and, and let me out. So, see you in some other video. Thank you.